Black folks just gotta stay in their lane. Jim Crow better than living in chains. You don't want trouble to stay in your lane. You try me, you went for a world of pain. Nigga, I can kill you and say you to blame. But now the drama is just best you stay in your lane. Nigga, stay in your lane. Take a chance for freedom. Take a chance for me. Take a chance for freedom. Take a chance at victory. Everybody's talking about freedom. Everybody's talking about glory. Everybody's talking about freedom. They're all talking about it, God. All of them Montgomery. I spend every day digging holes, never looking up, never causing trouble. I'm just trying to get a buck. As a black kid in the South, trap kid in the house. If I complain, I get a backhand in the mouth. Lights only, spit in the face. The colors only is the way to keep you in your place. I guess I could just go down and get a taste. See what the reverend is preaching, see if he know the way. They say King is a hero, he bringing the Negro. Dark in the south to the sun where he go. I hope my daddy don't hear about it and get upset. I'm hoping what he preaching is correct. I'm taking a chance for free. I'm taking a chance because they took a chance for me. Everybody's talking about freedom. All of the time. Everybody's talking about equality. All of the time. Everybody's talking about freedom. All of the time. Everybody's talking about equality. All of the time. Hey, 
y'all doing here? I said, how y'all doing here tonight? Make some noise in the house of the Lord. And keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the freedom fighter himself, Dr. King. started as a colony built on Native American robbery and the British imperial policy that saw Africa as its odyssey. South Africa, Zambia, Sierra Leone, Gambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, made up until recently Ghana. The Gold Coast just chose no one letting the extortion of the people grow so. I believe it's time we make a statement. If we want freedom, we have to take it. In the book of Exodus, you see Moses doing something they considered hopeless. With blood and water and fire from heaven, they broke quick. Couldn't have freedom without the locust. It takes persistent agitation to escape the dungeon of segregation. It takes persistent agitation if we are to build a new nation. Right. The bus boycott is the beginning. Right. And if we stop now, we'll never make it. But just like Moses in the Hebrews, if we want freedom, we have to take it. This nation started as a colony, built on African slave robbery, and the American imperial policy that sees segregation as its odyssey. The fine eyes have seen the glory of the God who doesn't need to worry because of all of his majesty. He's going to right the wrong of this tragedy upon us. I don't know if I'll get there with you, but I see the promised land, a mixture of black and white, a glorious picture on the other side when none is Crazy man. And that's good. But I'm wondering if 
chains playing when you see them boys in them hoods. I ain't scared of no brother. I ain't scared of no sheets. I ain't scared of no body. Boy, when you go in this game. But I'm a crazy man, yeah. But if the good Lord with me, I'm like Moses walking in the Egypt, straight from New York City. So come on, Smitty. Whether you like it or not in Montgomery, this is the pop-up. We need the country to know that the hope of the Negro is not locked. I don't care if it's Alabama or New York, take it to the top box. I'm going to fight the battle for freedom until I get my head chopped off. Because from sea to shine to sea, we got to get free. And I'm going to hold the torch, even if it's just me. From sea to shine to sea, we got to sacrifice. Queen free, we don't have a life. We don't have a life. Well, I hope they don't take your head off, though. Maybe take your mouth, though. Where you fixing your head off? Be careful down here in the south, though. They don't care that you're fighting for me. Oh. Not whoa. Say whites only. Smith, this is our chance. Let's have a sit in. They can't deny it's all right. Man, you won't get our teeth kicked in. We here now. Might as well sit down. Oh, God, I just hope the word don't get around. Um, you boys love something? Y'all can't read the sign or something? Why don't y'all just go ahead and start running? We don't serve no niggas. We don't serve no colors. So go ahead and get your ass out of here, you and your brother. Y'all getting on my nerve. This is Alabama. You can read the word. The sign say this establishment is whites only. We would like to be served. Huh. Y'all gonna like to be dead. She in the back and she calling them boys. And when they get up in there, they wanna see red. Young black nigga bloodshed. They just wanna bust heads. Y'all should have stayed in your lane. This is Alabama where they don't care if I blow out two niggas' brains. Sir, we just wanna be served. We just wanna some damn food. I'm a man too. I got the same rights as y'all. I ain't a slave at all. We just like to be served. Boy, you ain't heard. We ain't got to serve you, man. We ain't evil, boy. We used to burn you, nigga. We don't like you people, boy. So y'all get the fuck out. Nigga, get the fuck out. Y'all get the fuck out. Nigga, get the fuck out. Should have hung him by a tree. 
What the hell would them niggas go in that place trying to eat? Just causing trouble? Just get right and leave. Black bastards ain't getting nothing unless you right as me. I guess my violence is one-sided. I hope that Martin King is still silent. He was fighting for me. He was fighting for what? Boy, you ain't a man, no. You and all your black friends with your whole hands broke down there. We should cancel all of you saying both. Y'all are not human. That's how the law the land go. He spooked that they shot last night. If he had some real friends, they would have stopped him. That's right. Ain't no evil rights coming for you. Get that through your head, nigga. All that hope to look. Just another fed nigga. His name was Lewis, you weak son of a bitch. And I wish shit was one of y'all that got gunned in the lips. Hopping in my leg quiet, trying not to say nothing. But you ain't gonna add up with this. Stay in your lane, huffing, puffing smoke. Crackers is a fucking joke. Alabama stuck in 1756. I ain't got nothing, no. You come right here talking live so you can feel sick. Go tell your daddy he needs to find another field, nigga. Take the chance. 
Context to tonight. Um, last night I lost my voice almost during the show, mm -hmm. and so it was like until victory. Is when I'm like, oh, this might be interesting. So today has been uh, recovering and, and getting prepared to to come out and do the story again. Um, my wife alluded. To, big hand clap for my wife. <laughs> I went to um, Philadelphia to watch my cousin perform in Hamilton, mm -hmm. and it was one of the most amazing things I'd ever yeah. seen. Like, I've been a rapper for a long time, and watching him like jump off the table, da -da 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 -da, I'm like, holy crap, I can't do that. That's <laughs> what anymore. But um, I, at that point, this that was actually this year. At that point, I was really um, in a creative rut, so to speak. And I needed to do something to get myself back in the mm -hmm. groove and swing and feel alive and whatnot. So um, I, I thought about it, and the the story of my grandfather moving from from Montgomery, Alabama, to Detroit in the '50s came back to me. That story just rushed back to me at one point. I said, "I'm gonna do a musical," and uh, I was kind of pitching an idea to some friends. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to take it slow. It's going to take, like, you know, six, seven months. I'm just going to produce it. And it took a week. And, <laughs> and like she said, I was just kind of around the house. Like, nobody knew who I was. I was just staying, walking around, going, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and so my kids, of course, thank, thank you to my children as well, because they endured that. And they walk around going, well, 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 <laughs> and, and so this whole process has been very joyous. Um, I moved to Los Angeles this year um, yeah. with the hopes of, yeah, I, I have a job out there, but I also have the hopes of doing this out there and around the country as well. Um, so we're going to do a special offering, I'm just kidding. This has been a joy because to me it, it, it does kind of fill this this void that I've always had with creating just run of the mill rap songs and albums where it always felt like I was just making music to make it. Mm -hmm. And it didn't feel like there was any uh you know, you get on your phone, you listen to Perfect. a thousand records by anybody. There's good music everywhere, but I only I could tell this story about my grandfather, and I wanted to um, wanted to have so something that had some meaning. Um, I told the crowd last night. I'll tell you now because I think it's a cool story. Uh, I went to go see Queen and Slim, and uh, before the show started, I went to the, this McDonald's to uh, am I getting robbed? Uh, <coughs> <on> the street. <laughs> so I went to this McDonald's across the street from the theater, and I was eating my food, minding my business, like you know, like I do. Um, and this homeless dude walks out and he goes, mind you, I don't know this man, I, I'm just eating. And he, you know what, I don't know why Spike Lee don't do nothing about Joan Little, Oprah Winfrey and all of them, why don't they do nothing about Joan Little? Joan Little didn't take no shit. Joan Little. <laughs> <laughs> and 
saying that to say uh, there, there's inspiration everywhere. There's always a story to tell. Like, you know, if you look, billions of people on this earth, and each one of them has a story. Um, the unique position that we're in in 2019, the unique position I'm in in 2019 is that I'm a performer who has the, uh, all of this inspiration around us, the contentious nature of our government and society and whatever else. Uh, telling stories like this are a form of activism. Telling stories like this are a form of, of keeping alive not just the, the monolithic Martin Luther King Jr.'s and the Rosa Parks's, but also the Porter Smith's who, you know, it's an act of rebellion to hit your boss in your face knowing you might get lunch. Uh, and, and, and there are thousands and thousands of, of stories like that that add on to our collective history. It's not so much a, a, a civil rights issue as much as it is a human issue. That's why this is called Alabama and American Story, because this is a story about how Americans treat other Americans. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't capitalize on this opportunity. Um, so in the spirit of capitalizing on this opportunity, I would really would like to thank you all again. Um, big hand clap for the Black Box on Truth, Cynthia. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, so much. One big thing.